we will cover two crypto proxies in this video, Neptune Digital Assets and MicroStrategy. Let's start with Neptune Digital Assets, ticker NDA.EV, and under the OTC market for the U.S. investors, NPPTF, if I'm not mistaken. So Neptune Digital Assets has quite a nice basket of coins in its balance sheet. The main ones are Bitcoin and Solana. We will see in future press releases how they add to their positions. Are they going to add to the other altcoins or are going, they're going to add only to Bitcoin or only to Solana? We will see how they will increase their different crypto assets with future press releases and future raises of cash of or future issuance of shares expect that with these crypto proxies so far neptune digital assets has performed extremely well from a base of 30 cents now we're trading at 107 with a peak of 1.26 cents so quite a nice pump initially prior to the bitcoin pump we got this pump and then we corrected and found support at around 90 cents so very happy with the clear support and due to the uh, massive bitcoin pump we saw this gap up meaning that there's no price here traded because we closed at 99 cents and we opened above one dollar two so we jumped in price right away and that was due to the massive explosion in price from Bitcoin. The proxies are following Bitcoin. Neptune Digital Assets was up 12.5% in line with approximately what Solana was doing between 10 and 15%. So we will see how volatile Neptune will be compared to Solana and Bitcoin and potentially learn how these assets move based on the underlines that they have in balance in the balance sheets that can indicate it here mainly is bitcoin and solana but i'm happy that we see reaction from the stock when bitcoin and solana go up in price neptune digital asset did move and that's the positive thing the second positive thing is that we have a clear base now at 90 cents so if we ever get back to 90 cents, this would be a nice accumulation phase or entry point if you want, not financial advice, for the stock. The, this movement up was so fast that the MA50 on the 4-hour chart is still trying to catch up. We're at 68, 69 cents, so 37 cents below the actual price. So this trend line will continue to go up and try to catch the price let's see how it will act as support how it will behave in the future weeks that's also something that we need to look into in order to have an idea of how the stock moves especially because they are low market cap companies the ma200 also is reacting so very very positive up and to the right that's what we want we have the momentum that we want and we now we just need to be patient for those who have positions already and for those who don't then uh, I'll suggest to wait for red candles and clearly establish sideways actions for a few days in order to select nice entry points on the daily we pretty much see the same thing but we have a nice golden cross here that happened on October 28th, just a few days ago. And you see here that on the daily, the stock, the trend line is even further away from the price at 41 cents versus $1.07. This again will catch up to the price, the MA200 also, but we had traded quite a long time here sideways and now we see the explosion in price that comes with the bull run. So everything, the theory, the thinking behind investing in these proxies is working out quite
quite well for Neptune Digital Assets. Now let's analyze MicroStrategy, one of the strongest stocks out there this year or the strongest stock of the year. So this is the four hour chart. We see a nice uptrend here, clear, 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 clear trend line that we can draw from a price of $113 up to the current price of 257. You see that the stock has quite a few corrections to the trend line. Every time we're near this trend line, you could actually look into adding to your position or starting a position. Obviously, the, the entry is better when you are in longer consolidation periods than throughout an increase in price like that. But MicroStrategy will follow Bitcoin. Bitcoin is bound to explode right now. So we may end up in situations where we don't have too much consolidation periods because Bitcoin is going parabolic. So that can be a situation that you have to look into. But for me, MicroStrategy is the stock to have as, prox as a proxy, the safest one to have as a proxy. Microsellers has indicated that they will not sell the Bitcoin that they already have accumulated and they have a plan to acquire 42 billion in Bitcoin for the next three years. That alone puts a lot of pressure on the price of Bitcoin for the next three years. The ETFs are putting pressure on the, the price because they are also buying massive amounts every day. I think yesterday was $2 billion worth of one, the IBIT ETF. If you think that $2 billion were bought in one day by one ETF, that is impressive. And the buying will continue, in my opinion, it's not going to stop. The FOMO will really kick in, kick in when we get above $100,000. I think there's going to be a kind of panic from investors who are going to jump on the Bitcoin ship. After that, somehow many people are still doubtful of Bitcoin. They are scared of Bitcoin. They don't understand Bitcoin. But if it gets beyond $100,000, I think many of them will either start looking into Bitcoin, studying Bitcoin, but some will not even look at it as a risky asset anymore. They will say, okay, this asset has gone from zero to $100,000 per coin. This asset is not going anywhere. Therefore, I'm investing. That could be a situation that happens. Sometimes these a very important threshold like $50,000 or $10,000 now $100,000 will be key for the adoption and buying pressure and like I indicated many times in my videos Bitcoin is the only finite asset that we have we have not dealt with a finite asset in the store in the stock market ever Nobody knows how it will behave. Most probably it will explode in price due to the fact that many people do not want to sell. Many won't sell until the price gets to 1 million. We may get a lot of resistance at 1 million because many people will probably take profits at $1 million per coin. That's my guess. But before that, Bitcoin has the characteristic that a large percentage of owners of Bitcoin buy, accumulate, and do not sell their coin. And that only makes the asset scarcer and scarcer. There are less and less coins. And in 2024, and in 2024, it is the first cycle when the supply of Bitcoin is going down as we are heading in the exponential phase of Bitcoin. That alone is scary. 
So if you have the possibility to grab some coins here and there, do it today. Just to give you an idea, we are on the 7th of November 2024. Today, I will transfer $200 to my crypto.com app. I'll probably do the following, not financial advice. I'll probably buy $50 of Bitcoin, $50 of Solana, $50 of Sui, and $50 of a meme coin that I have not identified yet. I don't know which one, I have a few, but I plan to do that today, even after the massive pump. And I always try, if I can, weekly, to buy at least a little bit of Bitcoin. A few sats here and there, $20, $30, $50, depending on what I have available, but that's always my plan. And that Bitcoin, once it gets into my vault, and it, it's not going back out. Finally, let's have a look at the daily chart. One very nice thing that we see for MicroStrategy is now that we have these corrections and pumps at the trend line. So it's going to be easier for, so it's going to be easier for future investors if they want to select a uh, entry points, entry positions. Not that far, however, that we have pushed quite a bit already. We could be due to a consolidation period like here, maybe not as long because we are in the exponential phase of Bitcoin, but it could be a week, week and a half or something like that, or two weeks, sideways action. I'll try to draw these different sections as we go along, but that will be the only option that we have to select entry positions or entry prices for micro strategy. Again, I indicated in many of my videos, if you plan to buy this stock, not financial advice, always do it on red days and try to do it now near support or near the trend line as much as possible. Be patient. When the stock is pumping, it's already too late, let it go and wait for a pullback, a few red days, in order to get the best price for your shares. So I hope you enjoyed this follow-up. I think MicroStrategy will explode in price over this end of 2024 and part of 2025, because now Bitcoin is doing its thing. How massive the movement from Bitcoin will be, we do not know. So just have to ride the wave right now. The momentum here on the daily is up and to the right for the MA50 and the MA200. We have all the energy, all the momentum that we need to go much, much higher.